So, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video, and uh, yeah, this is going to be my last video before I go on holiday, so uh, yeah, I'm going to do a quick, uh, yeah, spoiler review, so uh, if you don't like spoilers, click away right now, of uh, Birth 10, Issue 2, Cover A, and uh, yeah, it's basically pretty simple, what we're going to do, point one is, uh, Part of part one is going to be the writer, etc. The team behind it, two synopsis where it kind of left off. It will be combined with the breakdown a bit. And uh, yeah, so it brings me to point three of uh, part three breakdown, part four positives, part five negatives, the final verdict and score, the what's next part, and uh, Shims eBay. So without further ado, Drink my tea first. Yeah, there's a little bit of lemon in it. The real stuff, real lemon juice. Got squeezed out of it. So uh, yeah, go to uh, part one. Who is the team behind it? Ish Perfect Ten, Issue Two, The Greater Good, created and written by uh, Dave Brink, pencils and inks. Kind of what's what's obvious. Paul Rodriguez. Colors, Daniel Rodriguez, lettering, Joel Saavedra, and cover A, Art, Paul Rodriguez and Daniel Rodriguez. Back cover, Paul Rodriguez and uh, King Bola. Special thanks to uh, Sol Ayan, probably the pseudonym. Color Flats Assistant, Kirk Massimiliano. Hmm. I like that name. And Dave Brink, and uh, Corner Box Art, Gilbert Monsanto. He also did some uh, Corner Box uh, in the previous issue. And we're going straight to the action with uh, Crimson Wolf and uh, Traverse. Who are, uh, about to, yeah, we're about to uh, after the facility has been blown up and uh, Virgil has been uh, presumably uh, killed. As you see, it takes, it takes uh, yeah, as you might see, part of the synopsis in the previous issue, Perfect Ten. Presumably lost uh, her creator, Virgil, because uh, he the sole purpose why Ten was created was uh, to yeah to find a cure for his uh, dying wife for his dying wife. Maybe there's some memories in him, in her as well. Who knows? But yeah, the facility gets blown up by the meta humans after meta human attack, and uh, yeah, Crimson Wolf is with Traverse. And someone tells that someone wants to see her. And back to the Vision M. And uh, yeah. Mr. Pratt is uh, apparently his. I don't know how he made it out of here alive, but I di digress. And uh, yeah, his help from the dead is. Uh, apparently he's saved. And uh, yeah, apparently she has a history of the previous uh, nine uh, synthoids that uh, that uh, yeah, it's not always uh, rose and daisies. So it's going back. Prod exits uh, the uh, intensive care, and you come across the uh, same guy from uh, from previous issue. Max, that's his name. And, uh, yeah. Everyone in the city was slaughtering in retaliation for the murders that we committed. And yeah, there's where that's again the difference between the job and, uh, and yeah, what, the ethical line that I cross. Sometimes I have to cross to get the job done. It's almost like uh, being, in, being a CIA agent. Or part of the suicide squad, and yeah, and yeah, like Max explained, people just want to live their lives without fear, they trust us to keep them and their children safe. That's all they care about. I may not see it how it no, but I hope that someday you'll understand. I think we'll do everything you did is for the greater good, and that's sometimes you have to, why you have to, when you have to worry about it. And uh, yeah, Crimson Wolf is in front of another uh, 
another human. And uh, yeah, we're going to her name later. She tells her that uh, it's very your vows to me, Crimson. You know, there's no no need for your uh, for that, my dear Crimson Wolf. It's much more efficient to have her come to us, and uh, yeah, that's what happens. And yeah, the, she tells him that uh, the vision has killed, uh, subjugated and killed meta no the vi and the five meta meta normals or meta humans, and uh, yeah, she strips basically takes her powers away, takes his powers away, and uh, runs him human. And that's when kill shock arrives. And yeah, her name is Calamity, by the way. She's the leader of the of the meta normals. She uh, takes powers away, and kills her, gets summoned, and uh, let's see how many more deaths division M thinks this one synthoid is worth. So and uh, Pratt is going to talk to his son, and his son's kind of pissed. And he kind of blames her for what happened to his mother. Let's talk about how you retreated into your some secret life for months. Some so for months. And, and while I took care of mom, she asked about you every time she woke up. And I made an excuse for you, dad. I told her you'd been sitting with her all day and just went out to get some coffee or something. I lied to mom to spare her feelings every damn time. And he was there when she passed away. Apparently he didn't see his wife but what he didn't know is what he tried to save her but uh, that was not true he created assassins for uh, Division M but with the sole purpose to find a cure for his wife and uh, but that has ruined uh, the relationship and he flies away in the T-sphere Yeah, his name is Lifeline. And then Max tells her that she tells Stan that she could stay. So Panicia can so Panicia can heal people, right? Why didn't it work on Erin? Who? Erin Virgil's wife. He told me about uh, the rare disease she had, well, of course. We didn't know about Panacea's abilities up until eighteen months ago. By the time we recruited her, Erin had already passed away. Uh, yeah, here is, he brings up a valid point. This is a good dialogue, by the way. It just comes in many way, forms, then sometimes it's just called life. Life. She thinks, about, she thinks about it. What keeps troubling me? I can't help but think about Aaron's death, about first losing everything we cared for, and now how all ventured that to my existence. Aaron died so I could live. And there's things that she doesn't understand about it. And yeah, she thinks about, uh, yeah. She has uh, troubles coming to an understanding with this, and yeah, she doesn't. W she's kind of done, and she makes clear that, she, that she's kind of done doing the dirty laundry for them. And she wants to have a real, uh, normal life in the real world. But people see her as a friend and not as a threat or as a killer. From that moment on, uh, the Meta Normals attack the city, kill shock leading the charge. And uh, yeah, the Black Doctor. Morbid, hive mind, replica, some other meta humans attack or meta normals attack the city, and kill shock uh, basically. Uh okay, it's gonna run hive mind piece normies. Uh, I think the normies part was kind of unnecessary, but uh, yeah, I don't get who, why you would say it, but yeah. Morbid uh, attacks him with uh, melting fat. Aboration uh, slams the uh, car. The plague doctor uh, turns. Uh, basically, his abilities are whenever he touches someone with by naming the disease, he turns him sick. And the, uh, eventually, get the disease, so he's quite a threat. And uh, this also alerts uh, Division M. Metanor because the metanormals have, have attacked. Uh, city and Max is uh, shouting out orders to get the shit to get the shit done and 
and uh, then wants to go in there. Mars tells her not to go, and she tells her, "I'm din I'm not asking for permission." She wants to go, so. Uh, Eventually, she does convince him, and uh, she's off riding on her motorcycle. That reminds me of Ghost Rider a bit, with Daniel Catch. But uh, in terms of design, it's, it's not the same thing, fortunately. And Virgil's having a one-to-one -one, uh, with Max. And she asks her if, she let, if he let her go out there. And yeah, Max didn't want to do it in initially either, but yeah, maybe she can save her life or two. And she, this is why I think he has a double agenda. How different she, it's beautiful how different she is from the other, uh, from the others. And it's true, she has more of a strong will. And that moment, calamity arrives. Then there won't be any help coming, Max. The network security is putting up a good fight, so let's make this quick. Get like to motherboard house if possible. The prime team is capable of more than. You know, Max, you force us to adapt to your side to control us. We have intercepted and, bl and blocked motherboard's communications to the outside. Right now, you, your heroes are still unaware of our act of retribution. And so if one happens to come along, we'll deal with them. And this, he asked her this about French and Division M. And yeah, she, and yeah, she basically turns the script on him. I can make saves not only to you, but also to all of those who are under my protection. Well, every time your organization kills one of my people, I bring the help down upon your people. So, that's one way to put it. And uh, she, she, handles a, she handles him an ultimatum. I should you bring the assassin to her. And they call it even. And, uh, they called even and they leave uh, humanity alone forever. But uh, yeah, if, if they don't, more people will die. Pretty simple. So Tank goes on the attack with her motorcycle. Hive Mind uh, goes on the attack. The Plague Doctor is uh, turning other people, Secret Trooper closes. And uh, she goes uh, full uh, weapon. She goes uh, full uh, ninja on them. So uh, yeah. So Killshock tells uh, Operation to uh, to uh, yeah enter life. Nice smash, but uh, more bit uh, was more than fat all over. And the replica. She's kind of still mentally unstable, insecure. She tells him not to. And she also tries to convince him to let him go. Why to get hurt. And uh, yeah. Kill Shock tells her that uh, she, she's slacking. It shows that she is not entirely without, beyond reason. And then she's kind of pissed. She had but morbid. Pulls out her uh, tubing from what I see. And, or not. So uh, she goes in the attack, she shoots uh, the other. Uh, and uh, yeah. Even Aberration hates Hive Mind because his bees are entirely useless. Aberration throws a car at. There's a vehicle at her, and she says, and she sees some, and she says a, a woman, and a child. Motherboard is, and here we have another look at motherboard. There's no way, there's no way, uh, they can be, can beat these guys. There's just too many of them. And yeah, it does, and uh, yeah. If, and the uh, motherboard made it back there. Still fight, still fighting. And yeah, she, she steps to the plague doctor. She screams, stop, no more killing. Well, she almost killed all of them out there. And 
and that moment, uh, yeah, the other division, the other division, members of the division come in there. Of division M, the metal marshals. Safeco. And yes, yeah, there are a few people out there. The flash replica or front runner. Avos. Stellar. I think Fantasma is also there. Oh, it's a Moon Knight copy. And uh, Pinball. I still don't get why they didn't give him a pair of glasses, but uh, I digress. So, uh, yeah. The fight is on. And uh, yeah, the left of 10. And the replica, they left replica behind, which means this replica has a chance to, of redemption. And front runner tells him tells her that you have a lot to, to account for, lady. She's not in the fall for this, and she replicates his powers, but uh, it's pretty impressive. But uh, front runner outsmarts her and outruns her. And Virgil is looking at the screen. I see him on the right now. So I need you to help the first responders over there if you can. I want you guys bring it in the shapeshifter immediately. Understood. And uh, Vir Virgil is like, where have they taken her? And that's the end. A few pin ups. More in Austin. Not really my favorite. Just so to the. Just the animated things, it's pretty okay. And this one, hmm. not the best, not the worst. So, uh, yeah, the positives is, uh, yeah, now we're going back to the positives. Well, the positives are, uh, yeah, trading cards looks good. The art is what you expect inside and out, and uh, the cover art as well. I didn't like to. Uh, even though it looks a little bit crowded. Interiors, once again, it goes straight from uh, page one. It goes straight into the action. This, it, uh, yeah, there's, there's not really much uh, yeah, action going on at the beginning. It just starts where they left off with the explosion of the facility. It arrives on time, along with Perfect 10, issue three. And uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting how uh, the relationship works between uh, yeah, how Tan just wants to have a normal life outside of this, and uh, but yeah, she's still uh, the inside. She knows she it's either impossible or uh, yeah, as much as she can do. The neg the negatives, well, uh, it's not really a negative. It's more like an uh, observation I made. Uh, how the hell did Virgil su survive this? I thought he was dead. That's a, that's kind of a plot hole in there, but. Also, yeah, some of the dialogue like uh, Hive Mind, the, the part of Normies felt kind of bit unnecessary because I already heard it, heard it word all the time in not only real life but also on the internet and uh, yeah, it was kind of unnecessary, but uh, I digress. The rest, uh, yeah, final verdict for the score. It's, uh, yeah, of course it arrived on time, I already mentioned that. And yeah, rep and yeah, I f think Replica has a chance to redeem herself too. They she will eventually be swayed to uh, the other side, but I could be wrong about that. So uh, yeah, final thoughts and score. Aside from two minor things. Aside from two minor things, it's... Uh, let's just say it... Uh, it takes a... It starts a little bit slow. That's another complaint. <laughs> At, at the beginning, but eventually it uh, it takes off, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Final verdict and score. W once again, it's uh, pretty pretty solid. It's not uh, a lot of things have been done before, but uh, yeah, I think. Uh, at least and yeah, the, the previous issue was a little bit more, yeah, had more of an emotional impact, but I think this is a good uh, follow up. And then, uh, yeah, a peek at uh, other things to come in issue three. So, uh, yeah.
it still it remains a level of consistency that I haven't seen with uh, let's say American Bliss. So uh, yeah, I'll give the seven seventy four out of one hundred as a final score. And uh, yeah, what's next? Well, uh, next I'm going on holiday, so I won't be uh, here for about so I won't be online for about uh, yeah a few days. And uh, yeah. What's after that? Yeah, we'll try. To, I'll try to get the honest, honest thoughts of uh, Cyberfrog uh, One versus Soulfinder Demons match. So now we're going to the shameless e-begging. If you like to see what I created, leave a like, sus subscribe, subscribe if you want to, and leave your thoughts down below. And if you want to see what I created, with my hardworking friend. And uh, yeah, artist Jar Warrior Issue One is now available as uh, first was on webcomic on uh, the JarWarrior.com, the official website, and. Uh, Global Comics, and if you want to have so have uh, your own uh, digital edition, you can go to uh, Gumroad and Global Comics, of course. We can get uh, a DRM free PDF, and if you want to get something in your hands, there's a physical edition available for eight euros. Streaming costs is forcing something I can't control. So if anybody knows uh, a way to make that cheaper, let me know. That's all I have to say for this video. See you guys later. Hasta la próxima. Ya, ¿eh?